Luna Classic is breaking out. It's up over 30% this week alone. Historically, October is one of the most bullish months for cryptocurrency. We're seeing Bitcoin pumping and close to breaking out to new all-time highs and altcoins doing very well. With the bullish narratives for Luna Classic, could Luna Classic break out and go even higher and finally go out on that bull run? If you've been following me guys, last few months, last few weeks, I've been talking about how much Luna Classic Classic is being burned, especially with TFL and LFG, and also a lots of USTC is being burnt as well. We saw last week the massive burn due to due to Anchor Protocol. There's lots more burns coming, guys. We've got the Luna Classic burn for the shuttle bridge the tfl and lfg assets with all those burns and one or two bullish narratives like the USTC repeg like the coins uh, like jewish protocol like uh, terra casino burning meme coins like terra and there's lots of other things that are happening could we see luna classic go on that bull run welcome to our weekly lunc video guys if you enjoy this weekly content where i share with you everything that you need to know that goes around in the luna classic ecosystem do hit that like button and just comment below a thumbs up it really helps the channel out guys i'll talk about price and everything guys but let's talk about some of the news and i'll come back to the price in terms of news guys the big news is that um the shuttle bridge will be shutting guys shutting the shuttle bridge will be closed and all the assets that are left in that shuttle bridge will be burned in that when i first made this video about four weeks ago i said about 270 billion so more assets that have been taken out the less will be burned but still there's above over 250 billion which is a huge amount of lunc and a big amount of ustc so they'll all be burnt so that's huge guys and more burns we see that more bullish it is with bitcoin and cryptocurrency pump when we've got you know a, a, in a, in an altcoin season market when everything is going out we just need to one or two narratives and this burn narrative is definitely helping LUNC and to maximize on top of these burn narratives we've got the USTC burn narrative so there's two USTC proposals again if you follow me on Twitter guys I do a weekly spaces with key people from the community so last week I had Vegas he's got a really good proposal we talked about it in a lot more detail one of the most uh, the biggest things i'm excited about vegas's proposal is the ustc staking this week we've got the mystery burn so luna classic uh, terra casino is burning a token and that's going to be huge guys so uh, we've seen meme coins do very well uh, uh, in Solana and how it was bullish for Luna Classic. If Terra Casino burning uh, L small cap LUNC means gets people to buy LUNC and buy these coins and we see these coins pump, that could bring another narrative. I talked about burn narratives for LUNC. Uh, th th this could you know be another narrative that we, ca we can have on top of the repeg, on top of the burns. We could have a meme season in Luna Classic ecosystem. There's so many uh, coins that are launching. It's very exciting to see so there'll be a big reveal guys i'll go on their website there are some clues so there's it, we've already seen some clues that's already been sent so i'm going to share with you some clues as well maybe you can start buying some at risk by the way before it gets announced the sunday 7 p.m so make sure you tune into that if you haven't already so that's going to be uh, big news but yeah going back to the repeg guys um the white paper will be launched 7th of november I've already started getting in touch with Leonardo. Once the white paper's out, I'm going to have a conversation with him, get some more opinions from people like Redline, and then I'll hopefully do a spaces with him. So that could be huge. We're seeing USTC pumping as well. USTC had even a bigger pump with all the burns that are happening. If we can get in the repeg narrative going, guys, or even the USTC staking that Vegas talked about, that could be really bullish for Luna Classic. So Burns, we've got this, we've got a few L1 teams coming. So today, guys, we'll be talking to a new L1 team, Orbit Labs, on, on the spaces. So there's lots of L1 teams that are coming, wanting to work on this. And these are all, you know, adding fuel to the burn narrative, adding fuel to the potential bull run that we could be seeing. So guys, it's all good stuff. Uh, I'll talk about Juris, so the protocol that I'm involved in. So LL69 has been working really hard, guys, this week to get all the contracts and legal sites sorted. He's already taken the money from investors. And fingers crossed, I did tweet it out. I don't know. I mean, I might struggle to go back and find it. I usually make a list of things I want to talk about and, and I try to record it in, in one go and usually try to keep it to around 10 minutes. I know you guys don't want a too long video. 
but I did tweet it out. There's a really good chance that the development for the protocol, the Jewish protocol, should start in October. And that is so bullish, guys. We're already seeing the price pumping. And guys, I think people are still sleeping on Jewish. Once we have the test net launched and people start seeing what we're building, the, the anchor protocol, the lending borrowing protocol fork, I think that could do really well. And just to re-emphasize, what Jewish protocol is building will help Luna Classic as well, the Oracle pool, the community pool. So for Jewish to do well, Luna Classic needs to do well and vice versa. So uh, Jewish will be helping the Oracle community pool on top of with all the fees that is generated. You know, it would go to stake the Jewish, the team, the governance pool, but also the Oracle pool about 15%, which is huge. So if Jewish does well, it helps the Luna Classic uh, community pools, Oracle pools massively as well. So uh, just a quick update on Jewish. Uh, I'm sure we get an update from Jewish team LL69 on the spaces with me we'll hear some more but that's the quick update the more update is the price so last few weeks guys i've been talking more about the the details of what's been happening i actually want to enjoy the price you know youtubers always sh keep shilling and like myself i try to be um more fundamentals and more you know more base than just shilling link to the moon but let's be happy as well we're seeing the price pump guys are you not entertained last time we saw four big green candles we had some big pumps you know we had a you know 400 percent pump we've had some massive pumps so let's see if this breakout on top of bitcoin crypto breaking out we could get a big push so guys the other topic i wanted to talk about today is the terra casino burn if you go on their twitter they have been dropping clues of what burns is happening um so if you if you look at this one again i'm giving you a bit of a clue you can probably think about what what uh, what, what coin it is people are commenting on it and um, and this burn's going to be huge because the market cap for some of the lunk meme coins are not high if terra casino is burning them with their fees that could cause huge pumps uh, in the coins i'm really excited to see how much uh, burn uh, this burn can help the meme coins and i've given you a clue as well so what you can do is just go on their website this will be announced on the spaces by the way but we can go on their website and um, uh, rexy uh, and the terra casino team will actually announce it on the burn page so if you go on there uh, it will be okay the alpha is kind of out so it wasn't there so you can potentially see when it is coming out i'll actually release this video maybe an hour before the spaces i don't want to give the alpha out too quick so you can see how much cat with that and what potentially other coin will be burnt as well so in terms of news and fundamentals i think i've covered it briefly what the the, the key news this week but i think the most important thing is the price and let's enjoy the the price that's going up from a trading point of view and for investors as well it's always good to see price going up to add to all this uh, bullish news i've talked about bitcoin crypto cz is out guys and you know he's one of the biggest supporters for luna classic the binance burns luna classic every month there's going to be another burn coming out in the next few days and cz is out bitcoin breaking out altcoin season warming up Just keep sending luna classic and that's what we are seeing so guys it's really exciting with everything that's happening i'm excited to see how uh, the, you know what the price can do i did tweet this out i messaged a few people already yesterday what i think the burn is i didn't know that it was already going to be out so you've already seen which one it is if you want to go get some probably half an hour hour before uh, you could have guessed it with the clues anyway but you can go buy some again please don't buy too much if you buy too much uh, the price dumps again i don't know how much the team owns uh, there, there might be some big whales gold go do all that analysis all i can say is this is going to add a lot of hype to it before i do a technical analysis on luna classic i do want to share a technical analysis on on juris so guys at uh, juris i shared my first trading tweet on juris so i'm going to go back to this because i want to share this tweet so i've been doing a technical analysis on juris for a few weeks to a month now so you can see the dates of when i've been shilling it and my first shill was back in august uh, when we saw that big dump uh, due to judge rakoff attacking juris and since then guys juris is up about 300 percent there's always opportunity in this market to make money and juris has been one of the biggest ones it's taken a bit longer i thought it was going to go quicker but it's already heading to my first target so from a trading point of view we're coming to our first target from a spot point of view i'll be holding juris guys again full disclaimer i'm part of the team i'll get some tokens vested tokens um but yeah i think it goes a lot higher just think about what anchor protocol did for luna and if we can get tvl there's big ifs you know have an amazing product have amazing ui i know uh, frag and ll69 is working really hard for it if we can deliver all those think how high 
the price of jewelry can go so if you're bullish luna classic if you're bullish what we're building maybe get some little bits of this as well i was going to go through a lot of the different coins to say which one will be burnt but if you look at terra guys terra is one of the coins uh, that that is on their website so maybe you look to get some terror and all this meme coin drama that we're trying to build this is bullish for um terror uh because terror is the coin on terraport that people use so if you're if you're bullish or luna classic and all these meme coins maybe terror could be a, a potentially good buy as well the the chart doesn't look great but if we can start breaking out trend changing maybe a per bag of terror that could be quite bullish as well but i've got to talk about cat with hat guys it's cat with hat people are actually selling it just before the news is coming up but yeah so I mean, it's just been going up and and the thing is the market cap is so low i can't really shill it all i'll say is guys just get a couple of hundred quid even that or, or less than that um and with all the hype unless there's some insider team that i don't know about and you know rex has done his research and i've we go have chat, spoken to the guy i don't think they'll be doing it there's a risk by the way so yeah if someone dumps it uh with all the hype they could get some money but i do think if 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 any meme coin on Luna Classic is going to do well with the hype from Terra Casino burning it, uh, with the how low the liquidity and market cap is, this could do well. So maybe buy a couple of hundred quid, don't buy too much, and let's see what happens with this. So that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's finish it off with the Luna Classic technical analysis. So if you have been, or if you're not already followed, make sure you follow. I've been sharing you guys updates on how I'm trading it. This was my buy spot. Again, this was a huge support level from back in August. Uh, it bounced violently from that level. And then this was just a range trading. So if you, if you know how to trade, it's just range trading, resistance, support, resistance, support. Again, this was buy. So if you look to buy here, you look to sell there now we've got that breakout so from even a trading point of view as long as bitcoin don't break below 60k i think you could look to start trading this with a stop below these lows this red zone so you don't want uh, uh, uh you don't want this to break below here as long as we sort of hold below these lows i'm expecting higher prices i drew it last well september early this month if we can start breaking out my first target will be this sort of twelve thousand level and then my other target will be here then it depends just on bitcoin if we start breaking out guys it could go a lot lot higher with bitcoin breaking out with all the narratives the biggest narrative is the repeg the the meme coin stuff potentially uh, we could see Luna Classic a lot higher. So that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoy this weekly video. I say 10 minutes, it's taking me 12 minutes, but hope you don't mind it being slightly longer. If you enjoy the content, guys, do hit that like button and subscribe and just comment below. It really helps the channel out. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next week with another weekly LUNC video. Thank you very much.